Welcome back to another video. This is the 2023 Lenovo Yoga 9i, and it's a beautiful laptop. They didn't change the design since they did their big redesign last year, and I'm totally okay with it, because out of all the two ones currently on the market, this definitely has its own unique look. What makes it really stand out is the edges of the laptop. Most laptops tend to have squared off edges, and then sometimes when you're typing for a bit too long, the sides over here get a bit uncomfortable on your wrists, with the rounded out edges, that never happens. On top of it, I just think it looks great. Like this is the Storm Gray model, so the top lid and the bottom are a darker gray. But then the sides, you have this kind of chromed out look, and it just feels really, really good. It's a 3.09 pound laptop, so it's fairly light. The hinge on this guy is super stiff, so I don't feel like it's gonna be an issue down the road. I also love the fact that it has a 360 degree sound bar. I like this concept because no matter which position you have the laptop in, there is always, always speakers facing you. And because there's four speakers, two on the bottom and two in the sound bar, the sound quality on this guy is actually really good. Now, if you do decide to buy this, you get the laptop itself in the box. You also get this funky dunky little sleeve, which has a place to hold your pen. And of course, it also comes with a pen. Now, this pen is a little bit on the chunky side. It has these angular cuts. It's not the most comfortable pen to use. It works, it's fine. But I found that this tip, for example, has a bit more of a rubberized texture to it. And I found that I had to really push to get the pen to move. Whereas with other pens, it's just a bit more smoother and works a little bit more naturally. Now, the one thing I wish they did was have a place to store the pen on the laptop. Like you could use the one in the sleeve, which is fine, but you're not always carrying the sleeve with you. Most people just chuck their laptops in their bag. And if you're at the office, maybe Bob in HR calls you over because Janice in finance says she feels uncomfortable because you've been staring at her a bit too often. So maybe Bob calls you over and needs you to sign a document and you're not gonna be carrying your sleeve with you, right? You just want a place to store it. A little magnet on the side would have gone a long way. The port situation is identical to the 2022 model. So you get that USB 3.2 A port, two Thunderbolt 4 ports. This one is also for power delivery. You do get a 100 watt power brick in the box. It's a bit thicker and bigger than most power bricks because usually on a laptop this thin without a dedicated GPU, that usually sits around 65 watts, but 100 watts means you can charge things faster and it also supports its rapid charge feature. On the other side, you have your power button. Not the best placement for it. I would have loved this to be where the keyboard is, but it's fine. And then you have a type C port, which is just 3.2 Gen A, and of course your combo audio jack. It easily opens up with one hand. You have the exact same keyboard experience as you did on the previous model. I really love the way this keyboard types. You know, it has this nice little dip to it. They're U-shaped, so it comforts your fingers very nicely. And of course, you have that, not RGB, but you do have white backlighting so that you can see in the dark. Lenovo does include some of their own personal macro keys. Uh, quite frankly, I would have loved to have the home and end keys as their own keys instead of using a function button, but these macro keys let you do a few things. For example, you can change the speed of your laptop from extreme mode to silent mode, whatever you prefer. This little button right here will blur the background automatically if you're on a video call. This will allow you to change the music so you can switch between different profiles, music or movies, whatever you want. This button lets you change between dark mode and light mode. And of course, you have the fingerprint scanner on the bottom right. But if you don't feel like using a fingerprint scanner, you do have facial recognition at the top. Let me tell you, this is a UHD Plus display. And quite frankly, I don't think you need a UHD Plus display on a 14-inch laptop. It, it just doesn't make sense. Go with the 2880 option instead, which is QHD Plus. Not only are you gonna save some money, but it's also a higher refresh rate. It's 90 Hertz, and even that is still OLED, so you're still gonna get the beautiful look. Overall color reproduction on this is impeccable. It has very decent screen brightness, but if you're using this for any sort of productivity, watching content, it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous on this display. But the big upgrade 
really comes down to the processor inside of here. It's using the newer i7 1360p paired with 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. Of course, it's using the Iris XE and you have a one terabyte NVMe SSD. Now look, this Iris XE is really showing its age. It's time for Intel to put some beefier and or integrated GPUs inside of here. The only difference compared to the previous model is that it runs slightly faster, but overall you're not gonna notice much of a difference. I think the biggest jump comes down to the CPU itself. I'm seeing a bigger jump going from 12th gen to 13th gen than we did from 11th gen to 12th gen yoga. So if you're doing anything that's sort of CPU related, then you will see a small improvement with the newer model. Is it a must upgrade over the 12th gen version? No, absolutely not. If you have the 12th gen model, chill for a while, you're not gonna see that much of a performance improvement, but obviously this is really catered towards individuals who wanna write, draw, use Photoshop, maybe do a little bit of programming, and of course use the Microsoft Office Suite. I wouldn't buy this for video editing. This is not a video editing laptop, but if you ever need to like jump into DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere Pro, it can obviously do it, but I wouldn't wanna be sitting here all day editing 4K video on it. No major complaints about heat. The keyboard deck never really gets too hot. It never feels too warm, even when this thing is completely under load. Obviously the performance gets reduced because it does have to power throttle in order to keep the fans at a certain loudness. Like for example, when this thing is completely under load, the loudest the fans will get is 48 decibels. But if you keep it on one of the other two profiles, you can keep the fan noise below 40. So internally, very similar to the previous model. RAM is completely soldered onto the motherboard, but you do have a drive slot that you can swap out for something bigger if you really want to. The star of the show is obviously the battery. It takes up the most space. It's 75 watt hours. And I was able to squeeze out nine hours and 50 minutes before needing to charge. This is up an hour and 50 minutes compared to last year's model. So we do get some battery improvements. Now this is not a gaming laptop, nor should you buy it for gaming. But if you don't mind dropping the settings on more optimized titles like Overwatch, for example, you could game comfortably on it, but it's not gonna be playing Cyberpunk at full settings anytime soon. So the 2023 Lenovo Yoga 9i is more of an iterative update. If you're coming from last year's model, this is not an upgrade for you. This is really geared towards yoga users from like four years ago. The redesign alone is an upgrade itself. It just feels and functions a bit more better. My only major complaint is that I wish they had a place to put the pen, but overall the actual performance on this, the way it functions and feels, the beautiful, gorgeous display, and all the little features that come along with it make it a very compelling two-in-one and probably one that I'd put on my short list. If you have any questions, let me know on the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.